Hello. Down a bit. Right. It's going down. Uh, let's get my channel going. Hey, see what I'm see what I'm doing now. What's happening then? How is it hanging? I'm all right. It's all good with me. Do some more sharp stuff. I remember what we got up to last time. Actually, that's what I was going to do today. I was going to see if I could find some more images. Oh well. Right, and ah, uh, fair enough. Yeah, I've had my tea. My tea's all good. I was just watching um, for Netflix. Right, then. Where did I get up to? Did we get this far? That was the question. Um, overtake Parkland. Yeah, I remember going through that for ODS. Flanks I had to go of. Yeah, Pipe Dream. Pizza Busters we definitely played. Power League. Yeah. Pro Yaku. I remember going that far. Puznik, we play that. Quarf. Did we play Quarf? R&R oh, no, is good. Mm, let's go with that. Nah, I suppose it's back to work for you tomorrow, is it? I was watching that uh, Sweet Tough. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's really well made as well. I skipped this one when we were going for the list last week because um, I played it before. Hopefully they're going to get some sound updates. Um, oh, this is the one where you do the back and forth. Oh, I didn't skip it last time we played it. the one with the waggle technique I found. Yeah, it's a new one it is. Yeah, it's a new series it is. Like it's uh it seems pretty decent. It does seem well made. It's the only problem with weekends, isn't it? When the inevitable Monday comes around and you've got to go back to work. It's always a bitch. That's more powerful. Oh. Any problem not having the spread shot? Yeah, fair enough. At least you can get in schools, I suppose, now.
doodle 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 doodle. Quiet in here tonight. Not so far, anyway. Yeah, it'd be nice when they get the uh, the proper sound working on this call. I think instead of the waggling, a button would be better. Trap then. Uh, this is a game called R and R on the Sharp X six eight hundred. Six eight thousand, sorry. It's a pretty nice shoot map. I say don't count the sound as being as it is because this machine has got some pretty amazing uh, sound chips and stuff it had on it. But uh, unfortunately, uh, the sound on this uh, on this core is not implemented properly yet. But they're working on it. <laughs> so it's definitely not showing it to its best, if you know what I mean. Not really. It's quite. A different game to our type. Our type is more like a almost not like a puzzle shooter but it's more of a shooter you have to learn. This is more of a just a plain shooter. You gotta learn the levels in our type. Ah, oh, Jason from the crypt, let's go man. Oh much better, but the um the one eye's all sorted now. Basically I've had the uh, I've had the um the op done and the uh the laser surgery, it's all sorted basically. So I'm just waiting now to get the other one done. But the other one has got worse. But I can see pretty awesome with the other one, so I just need to get myself back in to get the op done. I'm waiting for. So yeah, cheers for asking. But it's uh, I can see, which is fantastic. Tell you what, going blind is definitely not all it's made up to be. No fun whatsoever, that ain't. Done a good job as well. Like I don't think I, I could have asked for any better, to be honest. Yep, happy days, it's all good. I said hopefully over the next well, the next month, maybe two months at the most at the most, hopefully, I'll be in and having the other one done. It's looking like it's probably gonna be July. Unless he gets older me beforehand, of course. Oh no, that was silly.
Yeah, I got the super senses of seeing now, though. That's a pretty good super sense. Infrared would have been quite nice as uh, like an extra. The, you built, you turn infrared sight on. That could have been interesting. Being able to see in the infrared spectrum, be like a bee around the place. All those things, yeah. Fired a fair amount of bullets. Ooh, that was a sneaky one. Waggling. Ah. These other things flying at me are going to make this hard work. Oh shit. Ooh. This is definitely uh, not being light on me. Oh shit. Oh, I'm surprised the dodger. Happy days. I can't pause this to read the chat probably. I was getting a little bit like R type, innit? That was the worst dodge in the world. Ah. Yeah, bullet time would have been quite nice for shooters. Yeah, that would have been very handy. Just going by bubbles. Oh, the price is going down, is it? They've got a um, Amazon. Uh, Amazon sales day coming up on the 23rd of this month I think that's not bad that's pretty good 54 quid that's wicked pretty damn nice for that There's some pretty amazing games on there as well. Right, anyway. Where did we get up to? Did I try the Sailor Moon game? The controllers are getting uh, are going down in price again as well, aren't they? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I paid fullback as well. I ended up, I, I, bought, I bought one for my mate, but he never ended up having it off me, so I ended up flogging it. So I paid a little bit less because I flogged the other one for, I made like about 20 quid extra on it. 
But it, uh, it's 20 quid off the price I paid for one off Amazon. <laughs> yeah, the core graphics would be quite nice to have. I like the look of the core graphics. <laughs> you got a couple of you. Nice. Yeah, the Andy, if you got a Mister or something, or a PC. Oh, they've gone back up, have they? Yeah, I've seen things on Twitter saying they'd uh, gone down. Right, I try reset this a couple of times because sometimes you can get around that error. Ah, see? Then again, what the hell is it doing now? Ah, oh, that's quite handy, the Autofire works as well. I didn't realise that the mist that I'd built in Autofire. You basically hold on whatever button you want to Autofire and press the menu button. Basically, like that, and it turns Autofire on. It turns it off. And it's like, super handy. Uh, did I play that? What the hell is that? Give that a try. Yeah, it'd be quite good for the PC Engine core, wouldn't it? To make it feel a little bit more authentic, if you know what I mean. Right, okay. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I don't even know where I should show this. Okay. Ooh, right, okay, I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't even know what's going on. Right, I'm probably going to get my ass... Uh, get this video banned on YouTube because of that, probably. Oh, well. <laughs> what the hell is this game? Do you know what? Crazy as it is, this actually plays right. Can I charge? No. Right, yeah, okay. What, <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell's going on? Am I even hitting him? That's all I'm saying that one. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? <laughs> right, okay, let's not play that again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's loading the bloody thing again. That's a bit, uh, that's a bit risky, isn't it, for, uh, for YouTube? <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> what the hell was that game called again? Right. Okay, that's what it is. Let's play Scorpius then. I think Scorpius is... <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Uh, I'd probably get the video taken off uh, YouTube. <laughs> uh, like, I do get a bit touchy with things like that. <laughs> uh, it look funny, I'll give it that. <laughs> uh, this is a bit less risky, isn't it? Fucking 
There were two buttons. <laughs> oh bollocks, I knew I was having. <laughs> oh fucking hell. Well, I don't think that was probably an official release, what do you reckon? That, whatever that is. <laughs> uh, I would put it back on, but like I said, I'll probably you two will probably take the video down. I'll see on your snag. Then again, I might put it back on. Fuck it, just put it back on. <laughs> uh. This weapon, shit, don't shoot anything. Ooh. Yeah, you just uh, you just missed the fun. Can you go in there? Can you? Oh, you do die, right? Okay. You just missed the best shoot map in the world, team. a new arcade classic yeah I think I remember playing this game before and it was it was bloody hard Wait, does that kill me no have I got to go through there no okay we're okay Suspiciously, like it's gonna kill me. Right. Involving a teacher. There's not that many risky PC Engine games. There's not. Oh, there's a, there's a few, but. Uh, you got a couple of sort of idle games, haven't you? And you got that weird Hawaii game. That jumped up at me. Oh, hangover and sunburn, that's the worst thing ever. What 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 game was that? On the PC engine? This probably one of those weird Japanese ones, was it with a strange Japanese name? Yeah, sunburn's not good. <laughs> Uh, yep. Oh god, yeah. I've compressed all my CD files as well. Do you want to see the best shoot map in the world, Dean? Check this out. This video is probably not going to last more than 24 hours on YouTube, mate, but... This is the weirdest shoot map. Okay. Now we're over with that. Now we spent. We're gonna go time mass. Yeah. 
This game's weird. One thing though, they did spend some time making it play well. It does play good. It's a bit risky though. Which bit is... I don't know which bit can get it. I don't know if it's all of it. <laughs> okay. This is the best, Dean. You need this on the cab. I can only get this bit. Oh, you shoot the head, obviously. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's 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 a very strange game. Uh, let's try that. Have we got no going back and watching this video? Tell her. That's the first dodgy game I found on the, <laughs> on the shop. What's going on in this then? That's a horrible loading <laughs> screen. This has got to be a dojin game as well. It is really funny, our game. Right, okay, so we got uh, Sailor Moon characters. There's an arcade uh, Sailor Moon beat map, it's actually pretty good. Okay. I'm not actually doing anything. I, was... I am doing something actually. Okay. That's terrible. Um, shooting X60. I think I've tried that. Let's try that. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Okay. It's well dodgy, is it? Even and all, how's it going retro? I'll have to give that a try, not on stream. All right, so when these loading errors. <laughs> yeah, there's probably a few dodgy games. I don't think this one's going to work. Once more, just in case. I think I broke it completely now. That might be a good sign, though. Mm. I remember a game doing that, with that line going down the screen. Right, okay, that's not working. Um... I'm pretty sure I tried shooting passion. Shooting passion 2000. Dojin. Give that a go. Well, after loading that uh, fabulous example of a shooting map, uh, nothing's loading. It was too much for. Looking promising. 
Okay, shooting passion. I think I tried the first one. I don't know whether this is different. Whether it's the same game, different name, same game. It's pretty decent, this game is actually. You get power ups, as I said. Yes, you do. Very much a like great yes, isn't it? And gradius. I'm assuming that's background. I can hit yeah, the bullet doing it. Ooh, that's funky. Ooh. Oh, I can change weapon. Ooh, I got a one expect now. Is our weapon more powerful? I can't hit it. I gotta go around the other side. Yeah, I think I have. Just hoping that it'll take the bullet out. Yeah, the Urgate Mini, I, I've pre-ordered it. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to pay for it yet, though, but I thought I'll just chuck a pre-order in, because it doesn't cost anything for Amazon Japan anyway. <laughs> With everything. But if you if you buy it... Ooh, what happened then? If you buy the box set with everything, it costs 200 quid more than actually buying it all separate. Which is a bit nuts. Don't have a go with that. It works out three hundred and twenty delivered. Uh, if you if you put it all separate, or it works out five hundred and forty delivered if you buy the box set. I think it's five forty. It's literally just over two hundred quid more for some bizarre reason. It does look good. Like I said, I, I don't know whether. 
I'll see what cash I got at the time, but I don't know whether I'm going to buy it, but... <laughs> The only thing it's missing is the Astro City Mini with the base unit looks the biz. But uh, this hasn't got a base unit of it. Oh, that's cool. It's missing the base unit. So I'm, I'm assuming, because I think it's the same company making it, that maybe the base unit didn't sell very well. I wonder if you can go into there, but you can. Ooh. Right, let's see if I can do this this time. It is a bit pointless buying it, really. Because obviously I got the mister, but... I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll get it. It is a lot for what it is, my night, I have to admit. <laughs> this slowdown is coming uh, well, Andy, yeah. Do, 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 do. Backfiring is nowhere near as uh, powerful as the front firing. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Yeah, the spinner might be useful for the mister as well. I suppose if you work it out, it was probably about the same price as I paid for the... Um, Astro Mini with everything. <laughs> it's just weird, isn't it? That box set is literally 200 quid more. It works at exactly the same price buying the box set, buying everything with postage, works out 49,000 yen, uh, or the box set is 49,000 yen plus the postage, which is like 200 quid on it. I don't really know how that works out, to be honest, but... This is quite a nice shoot-up. Plays quite well. Right, I can hit that rock by there, I think, so I, I need to move out of the way. Explosion's gonna disappear. It's a bit of an odd level, isn't it? For a shmup. <laughs> we got a boss, I think. Uh, 
Oh, it's okay. Oh, I can look right. This one got a strange trick. Oh, he rams you. Gonna do the ramming trick again. Yep. Oh shit. Autocorrect does my head in. <clears throat> right, I need to power up now. It's very, um, it's definitely very gradient sort of salamanderous this game, isn't it? I'm stuck up here now, that's the only problem. Which is probably not the best place to be. There's a power up there as well. Thank God for slowdown. I was a bit dodgy in. Can't shoot for those explosions either. Come on, power up would be nice. Okay, this is getting a bit tricky. Can you kill this thing? R type fish in that boss. The snake coming out of it. Gonna fire. Oh, it sucks you in. So good. What's been going on in chat? Yeah, there's five more games in there going to be added to the spinner, and there's 24 more, uh, 25 more games going to be added to the machine. Plus, you've got a SD card for adding stuff yourself as well, for the, for the look of it.
Yeah, they definitely make it in postage on the um, the boxed version. It's like two hundred quid. Yeah, the the, the actual um, the full version is is close to like five hundred quid, isn't it? Oh, the the uh, PC Engine Mini's gone back up to ninety nine a bit. That was a good buy then. Twenty five quid, two colours, nineteen for the others, right? Okay. Yeah, I've I've seen the controllers for fourteen as well. Uh, shuffle pack. I did we play shuffle cup? I'm not sure if I played that. Give it a go. Mm -hmm. Where does it look like it's going to rain? Um, where's my light? Hey, I can see. Oh, that's an error. Apparently, the uh, Wonderswan uh, core on here is working rather nice now as well. Broadband, Japan. Didn't know they had a Japanese uh, output then, Broadband. They did chopper lifter and everything, didn't they? If it's the same people, of course. Yeah, they are pretty nice. My one's pretty good. Yeah, the SNES ones are not great, are they? Gasworks or Seth, whatever it was. Weird, it's in English. That's random, that text as well. That deficit space in several, whatever that was. What do you think it's not between you and the, uh, the telephone? It's 10 Galactic Misfits. Okay. Yeah, just be careful the retro bit controllers, their trigger buttons are a bag of shit. I've had two of them now and basically the, the actual trigger the buttons underneath the triggers break on their controllers, Mega Drive one and Saturn one. Even though the controllers are pretty amazing. What the hell is this then? Yeah, it probably does. Can't do anything. We'll give it a second just in case it's loading. It almost looks like a really cheap album cover, doesn't it? Well, that's not doing anything. All right, but no worries. Cheers for jumping in anyway. Have a good week. Catch you soon. No, that's not doing anything. We're just playing music. Silk Road, eh? Try that. We notice with video game consoles, there's always a lot of games in the S. Yeah, I, I I tend to sort of I do have a couple of wireless pads, but I'm using them wired on the Mister. What is this? Go crazy, eh? All right, you can hold the button on me and go faster. Okay. What is it? Right, is this a adventure game maybe?
Yeah, true. Some of the some of the wire pads are good, mind. Okay, so what's what's that's a map, is it? Okay. Okay, this is different. If I was on the button, whatever that does. Try to mangle him. Ah, that thing's a bit of a shit to kill. If I go this way. This thing's on the floor. You might do a blaster master. I'm assuming I can't get over there. Go back this way. Enemies don't come back once you killed them as well. Oh, can't move. Oh, didn't want to do that then. So I got the key. I'm assuming she don't jump over them. No. Yeah, the 2.5, the 2.4 gigahertz stuff is really good. You're only talking a couple of milliseconds lag with most of them, isn't it? I like the um, 8 bit dome Mega Drive pads, that's really nice, by the I stay away from the Bluetooth stuff. Oh, chase it after. Okay, this is, uh, I'm sure I've got to get in there somehow. Meh. Let's try that one. Yeah, the, the Bluetooth ones are the ones I d definitely don't buy. I try to stay away from all of them. Some of them have got some really bad input lag. Like I was using the, um, the uh, what's it called, the Wii U um, Pro Pad. But uh, that has literally got almost 40 milliseconds of lag. You're talking it's, it's almost three frames of lag on it. So it's definitely the same music again, but slightly different. Yeah, that's the way. Yeah, I'm using a um, a, Me a Mega Drive uh, mini pad, 2.4 gigahertz. But I'm using it wired, the 8-bit dough one, and I'm using um, I'm using a uh, Real Arcade Pro. Pro 4K, that's the one I'm using. 
So this is a more of a platform game. Then. <laughs> nice joystick, man. I like the holy sticks. They're good. The background moves in weird, weird ways. What do you do here then? This game does look rather cheap, doesn't it? You puke on the floor. Yep, you puke on the floor. So she got acid puke. Ah, uh, the age-old video game of uh, no fucker can swim. Okay, yeah, that's not very good. Why the hell is that in video games? Why, why, water, water, birds. In video games, are just horrendous. Water, birds, and bats. Worst things ever in video games. <laughs> Yeah, funny enough, I've got a LS32 in mine as well, and uh, Schmitz of Buttons as well. The new LS32 is wicked. It's really nice. Okay, so we got some lovely slowdown going. I'm assuming I can go over there. Yeah, okay, we're good. It's drastic, Alice, when you go from one to the other. Okay, why is this slow down there then? When obviously this doesn't need to slow down. Ooh, okay. Ah, it's a button. Right, okay, it's a, it's a weapon. Which is uh, quite fast, isn't it? Yeah, the Shimitsu sticks and Shimitsu buttons are my preferred buttons and sticks, to be honest. I like the Sanwa stuff as well, but I have to mod them, essentially. It's up to you if you like the buttons you got. The Smitsu buttons are a little bit different. They're a bit more... They're a bit more sort of... I don't... They're not so soft to press, if you know me. I mean. quite hard on buttons, so it works out quite nice for me, to be honest, but... Yeah, if you're happy with the buttons you've got, mine, just keep them. So this game looks like you do have to use the slow down quite a bit. <laughs> Cause there's a lot of fast bullets. Jesus. Oh, that's a weird weapon they fire to. <laughs> I'm trying to kill it. Yeah, the LS56 is very nice as well. I've got one of them in my other stick. That that used to be my uh, my favourite um, Shimitsu stick. I've got a couple of them in joysticks, actually. <laughs> i got to be honest, all the Smitsu sticks I've ever tried are all really good. This 
game is quite uh, fast and rough. The LS56 is really good for um, beat em ups as well. I think it's pretty much the stick they use in the Neo Geo cabs. The Japanese Neo 29 cabs. Oh, those things are tough. Game's timed as well. Ah, it's a it's a it's a times game. That's why it's so rough. Look. The time is going down. Yeah, what I what I've done with my sandwich sticks, I've put in a um an LS thirty two spring and I've used the um the one millimeter oversized actuator. And then they feel more like um, sandbox sticks then. They feel really nice. I think I'm limp-wristed because uh, I always find double tapping on a sandwich stick. I miss it. I think as the throw is too far. Right, so you got super battle, score attack, config. Try score attack and what's the difference? So this is just a three minute game. Mm, okay, it's interesting. I do like these uh, little caravan games. Oh, that's handy. You can get the missiles and uh, and get that better front weapon. I keep what I got, actually. The um, Hori Ayabusa sticks are pretty decent as well. They're a bit more like Sanma sticks though. Same with the buttons, they're a little bit different. They're big, bigger than normal standard buttons. Well, the push, the actuator thing is, but... Hmm. Yeah, it's a good place to start, to be honest. I think the RS32 is a really good all-rounder. The old version's good, but the new version of the RS32 is fantastic. The old version, when you um, pushed into a corner and you pushed hard, you could feel the stick sort of lifting. And the new version doesn't really do it. It sort of does it, but it doesn't, if you know what I mean. Right, now I know you can f you can get the you can get the uh, missiles and power your front shields up <laughs> to get better weapons. Think okay, maybe the missile is not the best weapon. The other thing I would say, any you know proper Japanese arcade stick, San Mitsu, whatever, you, you can't go wrong really. To be honest, you know you're in for a you know quality piece of kit. Oh, they 
solid, yeah. Oh, and it kills me just as I go past. Yeah, it does. It's got a switch on it. You you can do it on the um, you can do it on San Juan with two sticks, but unfortunately, you've got to open up the stick to do it. Yeah, you can rotate the screen as well, can't you? Okay, so that's that's not a bad, that's not too bad. This sort of uh, caravan type game. I've never tried a Korean stick. Uh, I hear they're quite good, and they use a rubber washer, don't they, instead of springs? I've always fancied maybe picking one up the crown le um, lever and just giving it a try. I think they're going to feel a little bit more like a American harp joysticks. I think they're going to feel a bit quite similar to them, but maybe a little bit more. There's a bit more play in them. Yeah, arcade world are good. Yeah. I am near a small cab. Yeah, that's the way to buy them, basically, is off them. Anyone tried those Korean sticks? If they're any good or not? If you if you look at the guy rotating the screen on the Yogurt Mini, uh, and he puts the hands on it and pushes in, it does actually look bigger than the Astro Mini. At least it does from the pictures, anyway. Okay. Well, this has got like a bit of momentum to it. Star Wars. I think Star Wars is on you. Yeah? I thought that thing in the bottom um, right there was the map. I was like, Jesus, that map is crazy. You got their home in. That's that's quite cool. They lock on as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying a Korean lever. Get the standard crown one because you can fit it in um, the joystick that uses uh, a Sanwa or the standard mount, apparently. Only with those sticks as well, you can get different um, tightnesses of rubber on them. So you can change the feel like you would change a spring by changing the rubber grommet they use. It's asking me to track that ship. It's hard to catch those ships. Ooh. Okay, so they ram you. Maybe I'll get one one day and give it a try. Have you seen those other buttons you can get now as well? I'm not sure if they're crown buttons. They might be a different make. They're like hexagon shaped ones. Um, they're supposed to be really nice as well. Neon Gamer, or Nihon Gamer. He, uh, he's got them on his stick. And tested them out and said they, they're pretty wicked. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is, yeah. It's in the shape of the um, Ergot 2, basically. Comes in, basically, you can get a collector's box with everything, which is uh, 49,000 yen and 200 quid postage. Or you can, which comes with everything. There's like a spinner, a joystick, a pad, uh, a spinner. The machine's got a, a proper stick and everything on it, like the Astro Mini. Or you can buy it all separate and get it for 200 quid cheaper. Well, more than 200 quid cheaper, actually. Which makes like no sense. It works out exactly the same amount, 49,000 yen. But the post that's with the postage that is. But the other one is forty nine thousand yen without the postage and because it's a huge box, they're charging ridiculous money for the postage. This one comes with a, a spinner add on joystick. Oh this is definitely like uh This is like Star Wars with more jolly music. Do, do, do. Stay on target. Do, do, do. Luke, you could use the force. You did it, kid. I'm not sure you had a certain amount of missiles or something. Oh god, they're homing. It's not good. They haven't announced all the games for yet. Yeah, the Korean lever's got like a big rubber grommet to use instead of a um, instead of a spring. That's a five-inch screen, is it? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it used to be wicked with the old Star Wars arcade, didn't it? Oh, that'd be a nightmare with Hermes, wouldn't it? Okay, that's actually... That's alright, that is. It's not bad at all. There's a... Cyan 4 on you, so I'm assuming that's... Uh, two Cyan's better. So, let's see what improvements we got. Yeah, it's about those old vector graphics, isn't it? Especially coloured vectors. Those coloured vector monitors are really rare as well. Like the ones in Star Wars, incredibly rare. But there was one guy in the US uh, that found a way of converting certain um, standard TVs into co uh, vector monitors. Ooh, so this one's actually filled in the polygons. Okay, so they've upgraded. See how this one please. Alright, you've got a bit of a head. Oh, it's not so it's not quite so slippery. Uh. 
That's pretty good you've seen it down the cockpit, right to where the gun things are. It's a pretty good way of doing your display, actually. Yeah, and you got those missiles as well. Tricky to it. Oh, these things are really out to it. I don't know whether it's me, but I don't know whether I prefer the look of just the plain uh, vector graphics. Which is a bit weird. Got a boss. Bad games, is it actually? Quite like them. Right, so you can you can duck underneath his fire. Well, you can't duck underneath that one, though. All my NG on the left hand side. I need to use my missiles on it. No. Yeah, they definitely do. Yeah, I'm not sure. I I reckon that they, the first batch of games in it is going from quite old games into a lot newer and get Rainbow Islands and things and uh, New Zealand story and stuff going on it. So, you know, some of the games are quite sort of later ones. So hopefully they can do things like um, you might see GW on it, G, uh, GWS on it. Or Darius Gaiden, or because um, Metal Black's on there as well, isn't it? Um, you might get some of the newer uh, Tato games on there. Be interesting to see what they actually put on there. I quite like it, actually. I quite like the other ones, well. crash into that buddy uh, hash right then. Yeah, I don't know when I don't know when they were they announced more games for it. I don't know. But it, it definitely looks like it's the same company that did um the Sega one and that's really well made. So hopefully it'll be really good. 
Because the Astro Mini's done really well. The uh, Emulation, I think, is really good on it as well. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to get it, but I pre-ordered it anyway. You can always cancel it if I don't want to. It depends how much money I've got at the time, I suppose. It's not out till next March anyway, is it? So It's not if you're going to get it anytime soon. time against it. He's slippery, isn't he? Like dodging those missiles. Wait till he stays still, I think. Got him in. Missiles really, really hurt him. Yeah, same here. Yeah, hopefully it will be. Alex, it being the same company, I, I'm expecting it's going to be. Yeah, that's the one problem in the Astro Mini. The scan lines are shit. Really shit. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what uh, games are going to add to it, because, well, Tato got a, a fair amount of uh, really good games out there, especially being vertical, so, like, could have some vertical shooters on it. I'd have to look up a list of um, vertical games for Tato did. It's a pretty good game, this is quite like it. I suppose the cool thing about that one is is the fact that it, it's a Japanese only thing, and it it may come out here eventually in the UK, but because it's a Japanese thing, it's, it's quite cool. When are the uh, Astro Minis coming out here? They are they are being released, aren't they? I think they're more expensive as well than they were in Japan. Well, I haven't seen no sort of Star Wars trench on this version, like in the first one. Star Wars uh, 
uh, Star Fox type blocks. I thought I was past that block then. Lucky enough I was in the right position. More missiles. Missiles are no good at stuff that's pretty near to you. Ah, you can shoot it to stop it, you know. Oh, my energy's not looking good. Ah, oh. <laughs> I have no energy. I thought it was a new file then. Well, that's pretty good. I quite like that. I quite like the first one as well. Tidy. Always find some good games in S. I don't know why that is. I think I tried Sonic again. Solfees is good on you as well. It is. A, I think it did come out in your originally as well. It was a Mega CD game after. I quite like Alan Mega CD. Even though the cartridge version is it, it, it's pretty much exactly the same. It's the CD version, just the CD one got bit much better music. Yeah, no worries, mate. Cheers for jumping in anyway in the chat, as always. It's been a pleasure. It's been an emotional experience for me. Hopefully for yourself, and I'll catch you soon. I'm sure I played this before. Maybe soft, not so soft. Sonic Linger. Sonic Linger. A one minute mode, okay. What's the one minute mode? Did I actually. Right, okay. So this is columns then, is I guess three of them. No, okay, maybe not. Uh, okay, how's this work again? Oh, not diagonals. It doesn't look like it's blocks them. Uh, okay, so why did that one disappear? Is it the one with the dot? Okay, I'm not quite sure why that did that. Okay, that's a bit odd. Yeah, Roboless is good. Alright mate, no worries, no worries, I'll probably be on for a little while, so if we dip back in, happy days. So that's a puzzle game then, you get to pick a one minute game. It's a bit odd, isn't it? That's a challenge mode versus mode, clear mode. Okay, why would you pick a one minute mode? Right, so is this a different game? Don't quite understand. The other ones with little dips on them. Don't understand why some of them are breaking and some ain't.
Weird. No idea how this works. That doesn't make any sense. understand how this works. <laughs> no idea. Why do sometimes it works? Sometimes they go and sometimes they don't. I, 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 I don't get it. Get this at all. That's a strange one, guys. I don't get it. I'm sure we tried uh, Space Harrier on you. Yeah. Yeah, we dig system by Denver. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Do do. I'm sure they had a controller for the uh, sharp for this. All my comms off. I wonder if they'll ever do a uh, 4K frame master. Apparently, the chips you need for doing the 4K scaler are apparently really expensive. By uh, a 4K frame myself, if they ever did one. Then again, it might be like a couple of grand or something. Then I will buy one. Then again, I gotta be honest, you probably don't need a 4K scaler. Scaling your retro games to 1080p and up to, on a 4K set looks pretty damn good anyway. They you tally scale it from there. That's what I'm playing on the 4K set, and uh, look fine. Hmm, that's a pretty decent version. But anyway, Space Rogue or Space Rouge. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's see what this is. I may have tried this as well, actually. Another game that does that line down. I bet this won't work. Oh no, it's doing something. Hmm, so this was Western program by the look of that. Oh, didn't it? When you got a couple of Western program games turn up on Japanese consoles. 
well, it's not a console, it's a PC, but... Can't start or anything, that looks a bit messed up, doesn't it? Remember this, too. She made some sort of adventure or something. I can't do anything with it anyway. Let me try the keyboard. Oh, hang on, you can do something on the keyboard. Okay, the joystick's working now. Okay, is this bad say? Oh, did make a noise then. Nope, that doesn't look like it's working, is it? Yeah, I think you're right, it's going to need keys. Yeah, it's crashed anyway. Ah. Okay. Space Soldier. Let's go around try. Yeah. One of these where multi resets might be useful. Even a bean, how's it going? I am, thanks, and yourself? Studio. What have we got this time? Oh, that's cool. That's definitely great, yes, that is it. Do 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 do. Do do do. This is like a crazy gradius game so far. Well, he's alright though. God, his enemies move all over the place, eh? Okay, so none of the other weapons should be able to do. Gold. Oh, that, that bar at the bottom is your shield then. So you are meant to get hit a lot then, I guess, since you've got a gigantic shield. Oh, they move weird. Well, this actually plays alright, but the, the game seems a bit cheap. Must be a Dojin game, I reckon. Super messy, isn't it? How the hell are you supposed to dodge a lava again? It, you're not here. Time's counting down as well, if you notice. Know 
Because this is basically see how long you can survive type of game. You just put yourself in a circle and sit in it. We got a boss. Which I can't shoot. You can destroy those rocks, I scan. It plays nice, but it's quite cheap. It is very random. Oh, you get that on the towns as well, do you? Yeah, apparently somebody, I think somebody is looking to get a town, well, hopefully they're looking to get an FM Towns core running on there. That, that'd be nice. It's one machine that is really good. I haven't really played that much. <laughs> I'd like to have one, but uh, they're... Uh, they're a pretty penny, innit? Spin Dizzy World is quite, is quite good. Ah. <sighs> I'm not sure if you need a keyboard or a mouse for this. Pity the sound's not working really good in this, because uh, this game does have pretty nice music. Spinner controller would probably be quite good at this. Damn. Not much time to get down here. Come on. Ah. Controls are a little bit strange. Uh, 
I call them uh, jewels. That does not give me enough time to collect my jewels there. Now I paid a little bit before. Yeah, I never played the first one. What, what did you play that one on? Do these ever get released western western side like? They pretty much a play in a eh, on. Um... This is the level I got stuck on. Where do I go with you then? Can I just... Uh, what do I do once I get you though? You can't stop spinning though either. Right, so I've obviously got to go up here. Oh, I thought it was on the ramp then. Yeah, I think a spinner controller would definitely be, uh... ah, that's a slow button. Stop dead with that one. Assuming you've got to get. Tricky controls. Ah, that's hard work, guys. I can't get enough speed. Ah, <laughs> oh, nearly. Very hard to get that, that correct. Can't do it. It was on the SNES, was it? Interesting, and Amiga. I didn't know that. I thought it was like a sharp game. It's very hard to get it to go where you exactly want it to go to. Can't do it. It's a fail, this is.
Uh, I sold it to get them. Yeah, Marble Madness was a classic, wasn't it? Remember the uh, Marble game on the 360? The one that had, like, a battle mode? That was really cool. Marble Blast, I think it was called. That was a really cool um, Xbox Live Arcade game, I was. It's a mad how they made an eight-player Marble game into a, into a multiplayer game. <laughs> and it worked as well. It was really good fun online. Oh, unless you're in the perfect position when you bounce. You just bounce off to the side. Hey! That is hard to get this one. That second one is really difficult to hit. Yay! Finally! Question is, where do I go now then? Aha! Uh, just because I fell off. Yeah, no, I never. I've only ever played it on you. No, a marble man. That's was solid, wasn't it? It worked quite well with a spinner, though, didn't it? If I try this world again, is it? Uh... Yeah. Okay. That's not bad, but that's an odd one, isn't it? Square Resort. Give it a try. Yeah, Marble Madness. Didn't the, didn't the arcade board use something like four PSG sound sound chips to create the sound on it? And there was, wasn't it like about a, a year or two ago, somebody found a version for the PC Engine that was never released on like a big prototype cartridge? I don't think it. Did anyone dump that? I'm not sure if they did. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite tricky to control. Okay, so we got uh, sources. May have played this before, possibly. Doom. Square Resort. Okay, what? How do you start this one then? What have we got to do here then? Do die if you go off here, then.
It's different. Do they hurt me? Yeah. I gotta do that. Okay. So why did he come on now then? Oh, you killed me. Am I damaging him if he gets hit with that? unusual game. Stop them. Why didn't he ever? Oh, you can. Uh... Okay. I'll do anything if you do that. Why does it take ages to turn up then? And why is the damage thing still still there? Weird. Quite weird, isn't it? Why does it take ages? What are these peg things got to do with it? Cause they're up in the top right. Yeah, maybe. That ship's got huge balls. Okay, that didn't work. Right, so he's killing himself doing that. So that don't hurt me. So the ones of the, the ones on the top right have turned blue now. So 
Are they all blue? Yeah. He just ruined himself. Apart from killing them when they're coming on, I'm not... Why... Let's change colour. Ah. Well, okay. What's that do? What's that all you gotta do? They're like Motos, is it? Literally, if you just got to take over the four corners. Yeah. Okay, it's a bit weird. Strange, eh? Oh, but the hill's good. Oh, it's my guys, eh? Yeah, it's different. Right, if I go back to that then, so if I put that back to as it was. And then try it. <laughs> I don't know what I did here, but... Sorry, I know what I'm doing now. Sort of. So it is two player as well. Oh god, that's the controls. Okay, that's that's... That's weird as shit. Now I got tank controls. Hang on, I'm gonna kill myself. Tank controls are awful. Yeah, those tank controls are terrible. Yeah, I don't think this game would be fun with tank controls. Oh, I didn't push very far then. I went flying off that edge. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting little game, I'll give it that. Right? 
We can definitely use the um, slopes to your advantage. So that thing is blowing you down here. It's definitely different. there. Right, you don't have to go near it and such. Definitely an unusual game. Watch going up the mind. Bottom one. Got that Japanese flag. my game kick ass okay that's, that's that's an interestingly different game square resort I wonder if I had a star blade star blade like if you know what I mean well, that's definitely quite interesting. I, I, I think I quite like it. I'm going to grab another drink now as well, actually. Wonder if this actually is. Uh... Starblade. I like the arcade spot, Starblade is class. Right, let me go and grab a drink a sec. I'll, uh... Are you going to have to drop out you? Yeah, cheers for jumping in, mate. It's been uh, enjoying the chat and stuff. Yeah, nice to catch up as well. Uh, take care yourself and um, I'll catch you next time. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Cheers, mate.
right in. Let's have a look if it's actually... Oh, I can't move. Oh, can't move that either. Is it crashed? Hmm. Maybe it's crashed. Or maybe it just doesn't work. No, I can't move. Ah. Nope. Okay, that didn't work again. Controls don't work. Star charge. Look what this is. Sound loading. Star charge. Well, oh, I think I may have played this before. Actually, this looks familiar. I think this is a game I couldn't quite the hell work out what the what the hell you ought to do on it. It's about these weird battle games then. Why are you a little guy running around? Because that's what... Well, that one. times you're gonna win then twice maybe this is odd because you only got two weapons work to get him with a laser. That's the best way to do it. Hey, what's happening? Yep, 6 k again. Been playing some interesting games today. I'm up to S now, so uh, I'll have to have a look to see if I can find any more of these uh, HDF in images. There's only about, I got about 300, but it's not all the games on you. This is a bit of an odd one now. It is a very crude virtual. <laughs> it's not particularly very good. This computer's a bit. This one's a bit stupid. Look at the laser. The laser's crap. I just remembered, Buster Master Freeze coming out this month. I don't know if you played the other ones. Master Master Zero Free, the other two were really good. I 
Right, okay, this computer opponent's crazy. Yeah, this is not very good, this end. I think I'd be a bit gassy if I bought it. Okay. That's not great. Played Star Cruiser, didn't we? Star Fighter. We'll go I'm assuming, I'm assuming Star Force is Star Force. Ah, that's right. Got there in the end, eh? Yeah, Blaster Master was a NES game, yeah. But uh, Blaster Master Zero was um, a Switch game originally. I'm, I've never really played the original one. I think I had a quick go over here. Yeah, that resets right again. But um, Zero, with the update to it, is really good. Right, this, is, that, this game doesn't work for me. So I'm assuming Star Force is Star Force. Yeah, the third one. I, I've enjoyed the other two. They're really good games. Yeah, Star Force is a vertical shooter, yeah. My comp's soft again. Yeah, it is, Star Force. It's actually a really good vertical shooter. This was essentially the first caravan uh, game they used, wasn't it? In the caravan tournaments. It's a really nice arcade game, this is. So he makes me laugh. I was laughing with my mate earlier. When we went to arcade, I probably said it before, when the arcade um, club, they had this set. So I, I was going around trying to beat the high scores on the shmups. And uh, I came across the high score on this. And I uh, put it on and I uh, basically like quadrupled it. So I walked off. So on the way home, man, in the car, my mate said to the car, he said, oh, I was playing that Star Force game. He said, I was playing it for about two hours. Getting a pretty good ice score on it. He said, I went off for a drink. He said, some bastard came along, and but he quadrupled my score on it. I said, yep, and that bastard was me. <laughs> he was gutted. He was, I was laughing. He mentioned it today to me, actually. So I mentioned Arcade Club to him. Yeah, the sound's not correct on this, isn't it? But this, this is a, a really cool arcade uh, shooter. If you're fast enough, you can kill that for the extra points. I think some of the ideas from Star Soldier came from this. Be nice when they get the um, the extra sound channels working on this core. Yeah, Astro, Astro uh, Blasters does, yeah. I think that's a very similar game, to be honest. i seen a, um, a replay of this. Autofire, it, marvellous. i seen a replay of this by... Um, it was on the Mikado channel, I think it was. And uh, he basically was on it for... I'm sure he was on it for about two hours. He had a ridiculous score on it. He was just basically clocking it round and round. You gotta get used to the enemies, all the enemy types do different things. Like in that mass system game, Astro Astro Warrior or whatever it is.
Yeah, that um, Japanese guy is really good at this. I suppose once you learn the enemy patterns and you, you learn the best ways of uh, dealing with them. Uh, no, definitely not. It's got very simple music on this, but... Can't wait till they get the music properly sorted on this core because uh, some of the music on the sharp is pretty amazing. Could have couldn't get across there, I could have got all those bonuses. You can collect that, I think. Bulletin. Yeah, definitely not an override thing. I, I think this game just repeats infinitely as well, probably like override does. Try to get through that gap in, wouldn't happen. Couldn't fire fast enough. But anyway, that's that's a, a really nice arcade game, actually. I th I'm not entirely sure, but I think there may be a core of this on the uh, Mister. Actually, I'll have a, I'll have a quick look now. Uh, arcade. Star Jacker. No, there isn't. Star Jacker is quite good. That's an old Sega game, I believe. That's on the um, SG-1000 as well. Star Luster. Um, I think it was. They made quite a few arcade games. There's a sequel to the Star Force as well, which is quite nice. Um... Starluster, please wait a moment. Yeah, I can't think of whatever games they made. Tekan. Oh, they made that as well. Solomon's Q is a really nice game. Uh, I think this is a um, flight sim type thing, space one. I think, yeah, it is. I found a good space shooter like this earlier on. Two nice ones. Yeah, you can't really play this, unfortunately. Star Pulse, Star Trader, I've heard that before. Empire, my Comsoft. Okay, that looks interesting. Okay, game, put a look at it. Oh, that's definitely an arcade game, old school arcade game sounds. I like the way they explode. Explosions are cool. Nice little effects when they're coming in as well. I don't think I've ever played this in the arcade. The 
They're quite tricky. Quite tricky to dodge. Yeah, sort of, eh? There's no name on the start screen either. See if it comes up so it says who this is made by. Hmm, okay. Never heard of them before. I like the effects though, the effects are cool. It repeats quite quick as well, doesn't it? So maybe there's not actually that much to this. Classic old school three times round type thing. to dodge when they get close to it. Yeah, so there is three different types of attack symbol over there. Just gets harder and harder. Ooh, that was hard. That's okay for a short go. Yeah, the effects are nice. It does, yeah, it's a bit of a... Okay, that, that's actually alright. Maybe I'll one more go. Didn't last long on that one. The patterns are quite awkward. They do fire a surprise amount of stuff at you as well. We're in dodge now. A bad little game. Star Trader. Isn't that an old computer game? Possibly. Quite like playing in the shop. All we need now is an FM Towns core as well. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, then both both of them running perfect. Space. Final frontier. I was going to say, once a place so prosperous and free, the people is as free as the wind. Where the land was uh, ruled by its two beautiful goddesses. What is this? Civiler. Zone Civiler. Zone Syphilis. I'm not so sure. Okay. I'll next find that.
wasn't expecting the shmup in, i got to be honest. Oh, a shmup that crashes. Ah, no. That was actually looking pretty decent. Okay, let's restart and give it one more go. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the itch lately to uh, play through East 1 and 2 on the uh, PC Engine again. I've been thinking about it lately. Yeah, Galaxians, Go, Phoenix was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, they were all classic. That's when arcades. You hear that that sound, that old school sound of an an old arcade. It's from all those games, isn't it? Basically, all those type of games around that sort of age. Nineteen forty-two. You always used to see everywhere. This actually looks pretty good. Pretty crashed though. Ah, uh, that's a shame. This is broken. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's try Star Wars then. Yeah, teens in the arcades. I remember going away to West Wales as well and uh, uh, going to Newquay and places like that and playing um, Dead Pinball. I remember the one arcade. I don't know why I remember this for some reason. The one arcade had all wooden walls and stuff in a, a campsite. And they had um, a couple of pinball tables, which I wasn't overly interested in. And um, they had one arcade game, 1942, in the corner. And I think they had a lot of those, um, you know, the machines where you put the money in and it goes down and then you get the two levels going back and forth. Like the two pence machines. They had quite a few of them. Let's see if that works. Actually, I might try Star Trade again, but actually reset the core. Just in case. Now that worked, that time. Definitely worth trying to reload these games on you a couple of times. Don't even remember Star Wars having music, I guess. Okay. You know, strangely, as this is an upgrade in the music over the original arcade Star Wars, it doesn't make it sound like Star Wars, does it? It's like a new Star Wars game. <laughs> it's just random, isn't it? Do 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 do. Ooh, the controls like on all floaty in here. Oh, get out. Be able to go in too far then. Well, that is definitely different to the original arcade one.
Yeah, Nuki, yeah. I probably went there, yeah, as a kid, like. Okay, that's a little bit different to the arcade one. Try that one. Yeah, I remember, like, uh, I remember there was um, another one in West Wales, near, not near Carmarthen, near, um, oh, what was the place called? Um, <laughs> that's quite funny, actually. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, I just added in. Kidwelly. There used to be, um, like, a big... Um, the caravan site and Kid Valley we used to go to, and uh, it used to be to uh, rent bikes for the like the week or two we were there. And uh, on the campsite, they had like you know the classic like uh, um, sort of hall where they've got all shows and stuff. I remember watching women's wrestling there. My dressing actually was funny enough; it was quite funny. And then, uh, but they had a cool arcade there with loads of stuff. And I remember that was the first time I seen uh, Gauntlet. I used to play that quite a bit there. And it was the first time I think they ever had. Um, I seen frozen frozen milkshakes, but they were basically not like like you would see now. They were they were literally crushed up ice and milk, which seemed really weird at the time. I can't skip this either. Yoga. That was in Kidwell. I can't remember the name of the campsite because it. I remember we used to go like. Um, you just go off finding cockles and stuff. You could do it in the bay. And then opposite where the um, the camp was in the chalet we used to go to, there was uh, an RAF uh, range. And uh, they used to, basically, we used to sit there watching them. And they'd, do, they'd have the fighter planes coming down and they'd drop bombs on it, <laughs> which was pretty cool. So we'd sit there watching them dropping bombs on the target. I remember my old man loving that because he was in the RAF and he loved it. Okay, this is different. They're in my sights, but I can't see them. Where the hell is he? This is it, boys. Where the hell is the Death Star gun? Yeah, I remember that was the first place I seen um, Gauntlet four player cab. I think the other year we went back there, they had Gauntlet two there. Can't see it. But the sounds of the speech are cool on this. Yeah, Star Wars arcade was cool, wasn't it? Do you know what? I seen um I seen Metal Slug. No, I actually won Metal Slug, it was Aero Fighters in a Star Wars arcade cab. Somebody had fitted one in there and they'd set up the controls. So you had those weird controls playing by the Aero Fighters on the Neo Geo. A random there. Oh man, they're a nightmare to catch. Oh, that speed. Like, are you supposed to play Aero Fighters in a Star Wars cab? <laughs> oh, this is different to the arcade as well, isn't it? He 
He's a slippery customer, this one, isn't he? How'd he go? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a random cab, isn't it? To check Buddy and Neil Jew in. This one's a bit hard to find the, the enemy on. He's a nightmare to kill. One, die. Okay, the random one that comes in front of me. This one's not so much fun, i got to be honest. It's different. I, I suppose it is a proper, proper sort of space shooter. There is that in full 3D, as such. Oh man, you got to kill though. Ah, oh, okay. I got that Star Wars um, game on PlayStation Plus this uh, this month. I've had a quick look at it. it looks nice. I can't shake him. Can't shake him. The sound effects are cool in the speech. Yeah, Star Wars uh, Squadrons. So it does look nice. I mean, I am not a chance to have, have a go over yet. Man, it's hard to track his uh, his sci fighters. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is compatible. That is apparently. Yes, I think it is. Yeah, Star Wars Squadron um, on the GameCube was brilliant, wasn't it? It was really, that still looks really nice, that game does. So this is like the arcade one, but it's a bit more sort of uh, advanced, like, if you know what I mean. It's probably them I've got to kill, any of the red ones. A Star Wars game does seem to have a single player as well, so it's not just an onla online thing. This is it. <laughs> Don't have any of them, you gotta shoot. Oh, this one over here. Keep your eyes open for those fighters. Keep your eyes open for lampposts. Ah, 
Ah, there they are. I can see them on the map. This is actually fully 3D. So you can turn around and attack that one. Interesting. Da, 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 da. Didn't have enough time to turn around for that one. Almost there. Levels take quite a long time, do they? Yeah, the GameCube one still looks print. Yeah, yeah, right, mate, I was going. <laughs> yeah. This is like a, sort of like an upgraded version of uh, Star Wars Arcade, isn't it? How's it going, mate? Anyway, how's life? Here we go. And we did. Oh shit, that's not good. Um. And go a bit faster, useful for all, like you said. Like going left and right seems to work quite well. This is a long trench. Going by the numbers in the uh, top left. Oh damn. I couldn't get out of the way of that then, I tried. Still got a fair distance to go. Ah, I see that coming as well. No. Dead. He used the force day. That's not bad. That's right, for 20 quid. Can't fault that. 
We're just using it for retro though, uh, that's perfect. GT710, that's a... I can't I don't think I've ever used that card. They're not great, are they? Oh, is that is cheap for a GPU these days. Even even some of the really old GPUs are going for silly money now, which is a bit nuts, really, to be honest. Starship, uh, wonder was okay. I find it interesting shoot them up on your earlier. Don't ask. Oh yeah, graphics cards are going for silly money. Andy, checking the machine though, if you're just using it for retro gaming. The Scrap Trust. Arclight. Okay, don't expect that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, good for that sort of thing. Stage one, airlock. Okay. Bianca McLean. Going on here then. She didn't look like that in the picture. This looks awesomely terrible. Look at that, this doesn't look like a sharp game. <laughs> God, this is pretty crap, isn't it? That's proper shake that is. I don't want to play Street Fighter. Or Strider. Super first mission. So we'll go there. We're getting there with these games. We've almost gone for most of them. The pick is very random. Definitely didn't look like I'm the pick. I think that was awkward. We'll see the shooting mobile played earlier. Okay. Looks interesting. We got a smart bomb. Oh yeah. Some pretty nice original shmups on the shop. I've been a boot sale for ages. I love a good boot sale as well. God, well, like boot sale season sort of is open now, isn't it? Like usually the one up on. Um, Kevin Engoid is pretty good. When you snag with boot sales, mind, it's usually a pretty good excuse to buy loads of tap and take it home. Charge beam, no. Power up would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Do you see any uh, games at the boot sale? 
anyone selling any console games or anything? Oh, I can actually kill things with your booster as well. A lot of bullets. <laughs> Do uh, now and then pick up some really good deals in boot sales for stuff. Yeah, this start did start off looking quite interesting, but it's turned out to be quite generic, isn't it? Lots and lots of little tiny bullets. It's going to be crazy, here, won't it? Where is your bullets? Not too bad to dodge, oh. Home Alone 2 for 2 quid, that's really bad to Home Alone as well. I think the last what was the last game I bought at a boot sale? I think it was um it was that baseball that I picked up at a Japanese boot sale. In Osaka. I think that was the last game I bought at a boot sale. The Japanese baseball game for the uh, Famicom. I picked up for a hundred yen. probably rubbish but I'm keeping it just because uh, it's a good story yeah it's a little bit on the generic side this isn't it That Home Alone game is weird, isn't it? You're essentially pinching everything. So to, to save everything from the um, from the bandit, wet bandit gun or whatever it is, you're actually going into the houses and pinching everything. If it's the Mega Drive, anyway, anyway that's the one. I should do on that one. You're just as bad as the bandits. Ah, dead. What do you get?
Pork Boy. A game or like a handheld thing. Ah, Virtual Tennis 2 for the Dreamcast. Nice. I do like that game. I want to to create that's cool. Ah, oh, it's not bad then if you trade it in the weekend after. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I thought Talk Boy was. Yeah, that's cool. It's the voice recorder with slow mo. On the stairs, you put them in a the safe, you. Yeah, on the Mega Drive one, you're just pinching them essentially. <laughs> okay. Like a voice changer. Right, that's a bit generic, unfortunately. Super Hangar doesn't work, does it? Super Star Shooter, I have played, and I don't want to start playing it again because it's, it's. I'll be on you for ages. Street Fighter Bomber X. I think I played that and it was rubbish. Super Street Fighter 2? Mm, we'll skip that one. Super Tiny Flanks. Okay. Try that. From 1992. Yeah, sometimes you do get interested in stuff like that. I think the best deal I had in the boot sale was um, uh, a 1992, uh, no, 94, 1994 Ibanez Blazer uh, guitar in pretty much pristine condition for 30 quid. I think it was less than that, actually. I think I paid 25 for it. Which is ridiculous. No, I've never completed it. Yeah, no, I've still got it. It's a, it's a Japanese-made one as well. How ridiculous is that? I, I traced I traced the serial numbers and stuff on it, and it, it it's come from the best uh, factory in Japan as well for making guitars. And I, I I I'm sure you wanted thirty quid for it with a stand, and I didn't want the stand, so I knocked him down to five. I'm sorry, I paid twenty five quid for it, which is stupid. Oh, so this is just flanks, but with a tiny screen. With no sound. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Flanks is quite a nice arcade game, isn't it? Right, okay, so we'll play something else and see I've got no sound. Uh, did we play that? Super Adlick? Zad, uh, Zad, Zadlick? Yeah, sometimes you do come across them, like you pick up some really good deals. Like I bought I bought Master Darkness for something like two quid on the Master System. That goes for quite a bit now as well. Is that sometimes you're lucky you come across something and you think, Oh yeah, we did play this. Civilian Tail Chaser. Should we into the T's now? Yeah, we played that. It's a shoot map, it's not a bad little shoot map. That looks familiar, so I may have played this, possibly. Yeah. I don't think this worked. No, I didn't. Target. I can't find... I can't remember how far we got into the T's. I sure we played Target as well. Yeah, I played it. I think I was swapping between stuff one night before, but I'm trying to go trying to go through most of the games. Alright, so that didn't work. Let's do another reset. I tried target as well though. I just got a feeling I did. Do do do. Do anything. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. 
can't do anything with this. Oh no, you can press uh, space. Does that just crash it? Oops, something flashed in. IKS project. What is it? 1990. May have tried this. Yeah, it's a good way to do that, is. I should do that with the MSX stuff. Start going through a lot of that. Yeah, I've played this something. I recognise that start screen. Right, okay, we have definitely played that. So... Uh, Technos Football. I don't like football that much. Terracrest... Uh, have a drive to try that in close to Thunderfalls, which I don't think worked, did it? But then again, I didn't know you could just continuously restart the uh, starting to get this stuff working. Yeah, I'll have to have some, look for some more of these um, HDFs. Right guys, this looks quite cheap. Is this supposed to be like just terrible driving? Terrible drive. They hang on it, shouldn't they? The way um, it handles the road and that. Oh, I was hoping to get between them in. So is this literally just a racing game? A weird bounce off him. <laughs> Didn't that sign show the opposite direction then for that corner? <laughs> the weird shaped cars as well, eh? This is definitely no outrun. Mine's really a little bit like Riding Hero on the Neo Geo, the way the cars sort of come off, they actually look like they're on the grass. Jesus, that's a windy road. Oops. Oh, thanks. Looks to be. That was nice, huh? Ooh. The 
a bit crappy, isn't it? Can't tell how sharp some of these corners are. Ah, uh, time up. What a shame. <laughs> yeah, damn right that is. I've been on a few of them. Yeah, that's not great. I wonder what Tetris this is. They look a bit like future cars, don't they? They're all rounded. Yeah, like on a proto now. So it was BPS text and Tetris. Will it prove software? Hmm. The original. Oh, it's messed up, isn't it? The original Tetris on the NES, the controls are screwed on it. Yep, it's just the same Tetris. I don't even know what's going on there. Controls don't work, probably. We tried Thunder Blade, didn't we? Let's try Thunder Force again. Yeah, Bulletproof Software. Yeah, the original version of Tetris they released, the controls are terrible. Working. Yeah, that's the first one. The yeah, the first Famicom Tetris game has got good controls are terrible, isn't it? A lot more speech, haven't it, than the Mega Drive one? Yeah, that could be a problem. Sprite layer don't work. Quite cool reflection, though. Oh, that's not a reflection, is it? It's the actual base underneath. Yeah, the sprite layer's not working. Ah. I thought we were in for playing a bit of Thunder Force then. Ah. That's a shame. Tiger Eye we played. Time Pilot? That's an arcade game, isn't it? Do you know the seven crystals? Yeah, it's a shame the sprite layer is not working. Yeah, it's got music as well. No, oh, right, okay, let's do a restart. That's a shame. Please wait a moment. Okay. May have played this before. Oh, that's fluidy controls. Have I got to get all these balls in there, though? Over. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's seven minutes. Why did I game over then? Oh, I've got to do it. In... Oh God, don't tell me. I've got to. I've got to do it like, like they're saying. That's going to be absolutely solid to do that.
controls are not So why did I die last time then? Place quite floaty. This is definitely a bit of a different game. Yep, that's a bit crappy. Tiny hoppy muppy. That's a bit of a strange game, Owen. The, the controls don't help. They're like really, yeah, they're like really cotton balls, exactly. <laughs> the, the, the controls are really floaty as well. He looks nasty. Okay. That's actually an arcade game. Didn't Namco make a hopping mappy game? No, I have seen it. Oops, doing the fast speed thing is uh, not so easy to turn. I wonder if this was an arcade game. So if it was, I have never seen it. You got like a button you can hold down, which makes you go fast. Do do. That's the way. Too lazy to. That's the way to do it. Yeah, I've never seen. I've never seen this mappy game. I know the the normal mappy. Gonna be tricky now, isn't it? The bank pushes everywhere.
bit hard to tell sometimes where they are. You just go look at the shadows, ignore the actual sprites. It's calling at you. Do it. I want to know. I guess really confusing. Yep. Exactly what that is. Yep, search for that on Google. You should find Namco if you look for that. It's really hard to work out where they, where they are. Okay, that's a bit of an odd one. There's Namco, maybe that actually was an arcade game. Took a me memorial. That's got to be a uh, digital novel thing. It's probably got some secret game built into it. Some of the um, Takamini uh, Memorial games did. Or Takamini. <laughs> uh, that's what I thought you might have found. Okay, you can't play that. There might be some secret game built into that. Tongotsu Pro Roku Hachi Key. Okay, Tongotsu Pro Roku Hachi Key. That sounds fantastic. Do you know what? I want a Hello Kitty guitar. They're pretty cool. And then pimp that sucker out. <laughs> Buy the cheap one and then pimp it out with like really nuts pickups and stuff. Turn it into like a metal monster. Oh, mouse only mode. I don't want a mouse only. It's a little bit hard to play on a touchpad mouse. Okay, we're playing on a touchpad. Why would they have an only mouse only mode for this game? Strange, isn't it? I've used uh, I've used a mouse for playing shoot maps before. It's a bit odd. It does work though, bizarrely. That's it. Okay, that was literally it, I think. Stage two. Yeah, that is a bit odd. This is obviously a dojin game.
plays like playing shmups on a touchpad. You can just go ridiculous movement on them. You're playing them on your phone. Ooh, that was weird. This touchpad I got is not exactly the most amazing working touchpad. Okay. That's a very odd change. Wiki, Hobby Map is a... It is an arcade game. 1986, have you seen? Hmm. I never knew Mappy had a sequel. That's bad. Yeah, it was actually on a Wii Virtual Console. That's crazy. Never never knew about that. I thought Mappy was like a one-off. Tower of Dragger. That's... I tell you what, I've seen that in a couple of Japanese arcades. It's still popular there now. That old Namco game. Uh, turb. Turbulent. Turbulence. Let's have a go at that then. No. Yeah. yeah, it's it's, it's amazing Tower of Drago uh, is it's still popular. I never really got into it, like, cause it's quite a big game as well. I did see quite a few people playing it as well in various places. I quite like Dragon Buster. That's quite a cool like game. Okay. Pity you ain't gonna sound. Was that a smart bomb? Yeah, it was. I think I've played this before as well. This reminds me a little bit like Override, doesn't it? But you've got no sound, this is actually pretty okay. Or no music, anyway. Maybe there's no music on there, I don't I'm going to make some classic arcade games, isn't he? That's a weird enemy. Oh, kill me. Oh shit, he killed me again. Quite tough for them things are. Yeah, it's always on the Namco um, compilations, are isn't it? Um, it's mad that it's still popular in the arcades. Like the PC Engine versions, an, an updated version of it. That is a lot of bullets. Yeah, it's an updated version of the arcade one. It's got better graphics and stuff. Pretty much the same game though, I think. It's just, they've upped the graphics on it. And the play build is a little bit different. Yeah, you literally walk on a maze, do you? Walk on a maze, uh, put your sword out, and then walk into enemies. And there's, lo there's loads of secrets to it though. If you actually, I, I've seen a couple of good replays of it. And um, it's surprising how many secrets there are to it. Oh, it comes back. Ah, But yeah, there's no sounds. That actually plays quite nice. Twin B, Twin Soul? And then the T's now. Yeah, I've got the PC Engine one. Yeah, it is, it, it is basically an update. I'm sure they've changed up the sword mechanic. I think you can press a button for it now. I think. Yeah. It's mad. Yeah, it must have been, like I said, it must have been really popular. Isn't there a sort of, oh, I don't think it's a sequel to it. There's, there's another arcade game, it's very similar, like a maze one. I 
I tell you what, though, when you look at all these retro channels online and on YouTube, you can tell the ones that are actually into retro because I, I, I come across lots, you probably the same, come across lots of channels where people are talking about retro and they, they you can tell they have no idea where any of these games are. They've never heard of big franchises and they've never heard of games back in the day. It's like, um, what's it? Metal Jesus is very like, much like that. I don't think he knows anything about retro apart from uh, he does know a lot about um, LucasArts games, doesn't he? Because he used to work for him. Yeah. It's got like a weird tick 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 noise in the background. Yeah, Tower Drago. Popular, popular game. Yeah, man. Does this work? Should we wait a second? Yeah, hidden gems. Or I'm uh, or I'm starting to call them the um, unknown niche games. The old UNGs. Oh, it is working. Yeah, it's it's there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, retro channels that you you listen to. All right, they they're doing a good job. They're doing their thing. I I'm not complaining. I ain't perfect either, but. A lot of them just read off wiki, and a, and a lot of them you'll you'll see people suggesting stuff, and they're like, oh, I never knew that, I never heard that, and they're like quite popular games back in the day. Like you think, oh, okay, mm. but there's quite a lot of YouTubers that just seem to do wiki. He has his email, Jesus. I haven't seen any of his latest videos. He's quite a big guy anyway, isn't he? He's quite a, he was he about six foot four, six foot five. Okay, this is different. Dragon with two heads. He's quite a big guy anyway, like. So what's the difference then? I think we've all piled on the pounds a bit since pretty uh, lockdown, to be honest. I'm no skinny bastard, but uh, I've definitely probably put the pounds on as well. Just lazy as hell, new around the house, not doing shit. Not getting up for work, not carrying stuff around in work, and running up and downstairs and stuff like I normally do. I've become lazy. The change in the colours don't seem to do much. This is weird, isn't it? There was one YouTube I ended up uh, meeting at one point. I, I was quite, I gotta be honest, I was quite surprised. Kim Justice. I know he, he puts himself down as a lady, you know, but uh, she's, oh, he, sorry, whichever way you want to do it. She's a big girl. Or oh, big boy. I was really surprised, like. He looks pretty big in the videos, but you see him in real life. Surprisingly bigger than I was expecting. Nice, you know, nice enough, like. Like I say, I ain't, I ain't no skinny bastard either, mine, but... This is rather different. I know, that's one thing about getting back to work, I suppose, isn't it? It's, uh, our laziness disappears and I will be out and about and running around places and running up and down stairs and walking through buildings. Mm, is that good to get, you reckon? I could definitely do losing a bit of a compared as well. Oh god, no one knows everything. 
Yeah, it is like a virtual um, civilian. Hmm. Oh, I think it's crashed. Like, I ain't a small guy either. Like, I'm probably like six foot two or whatever. But, yeah, Jesus, he does look, he does look quite a big guy. Yeah, I think I think everyone's suffering from that really. Laziness around the house during lockdown. <laughs> We've all got fat bastards. Basically. It's the coronavirus uh, spread. That's pretty much what it is. And not in the normal as you would uh, think it spreads around. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I quite like Metal Jesus' show, to be honest. Like, it, it's pretty good, isn't it? You know, he he does have some interesting people on it, but I suppose you you, you are never going to know everything. But it it just surprises me sometimes. It, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of these retro channels that literally just live on um, on Wiki. All right, there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine, you know. But. Uh, yeah, it just surprises me with some of the ones that reckon they've been into retro gaming since they were a kid. But then you mention something like Mega Man and they go, Mega Man, what's that? Saucer Beat. What the hell is this? Like, I ain't perfect. I get stuff wrong, you know, as same as everyone else, like, but. Admittedly, I don't know. Oh, okay, this is. This is very cheap looking. Uh, I don't know a huge amount about... I know something about 8-bit computers. It's not a massive amount. I'm more of a console person, an arcade person, me. Yeah, that's that's obviously a, a dojin game. And the line we tried that. V-Ball? Let's give that a try. Oh god, I'm way heavier than I fucking should be. Like I said, with the coronavirus going on, we've all become fat bastards. Then again, admittedly, I was probably one before that. Oh, that's pretty cheap looking. <laughs> Just beach bums talking to anyone. Technos, that's mad. That is a cheap looking game for Technos Japan. Well, the graphics are obviously messed up, but that sprite, he doesn't look. <laughs> it looks like a massively long arms in. Yeah, it's probably messed up bad, isn't it? New point we tried. I'm pretty sure we tried Virgin Angel. White, white Fantasy, I think... I think... Uh, let's try it. I'm not, I think we tried that before. <laughs> it does look like a great looks remix. Uh... Yeah, didn't Metal, Metal Jesus in these new videos like Hidden Gems on the PlayStation 4? There probably are quite a few, actually, because there's, there's a lot of like indie games that come out on disc and on the PS4. That's not working, is it? Let me try once more. Mm, no. Okay, that don't work. Wind Blast. If it was blast wind, that'd be quite cool. <laughs> yeah, because you, you, it's a metal juice looking to get like two and a half, 
Was he? No, we went two and a half. It was like four grand a month off his patrons, and he was going to give up work. It's all right if you can do it. But I don't think it worked out for him. Even though he's a really popular channel. I go with the confused looking guy. Oh my god, it's like an updated transport. It's like a cross between transport and um, sidearms. God, they run back fast. No more life. The problem with this, uh, five minutes not very powerful on this. No, he did actually point out some pretty good looking games, actually. A few of them I've played. Most of the hidden gem stuff he does chuck out. Not all of it, but now and then there's, there's some stuff in there you think, yeah, okay. I think my favourite uh, gaming channel on um, on the internet is um, GameSack. I love our show. It's a shame they haven't got Dave anymore because uh, it was quite good when the two of them were doing it. Still pretty good anyway, but... loves a bit of game sack. The one he did this week was on uh, the new scalers and the old scalers. He's like that new um, retro tank, retro tank or whatever it is, 5x. So it's really good. It looks very good. Was it you, Bean, was buying a, a, a retro thing? Someone was buying one. I forgot to ask him uh, what they thought of it. Yeah, I've been watching them. I watch a bit of um, Metal Jesus on and off, but uh, Game Sack, yeah, I watch it all the time. Alright, that's a wall. Who was, in the, who was in the chat a little while ago? You know me, Jim Sims said he's gonna buy a Retro Tank 5X. Be interesting what they think of it. Overall, what I'm getting from that is it's, it's very good. Yeah, let's do Japan shows were good. That's okay. Ah, I see we're going. I thought it was. What, what do you think of it? You've, you've obviously been using it for a little while. What are your thoughts? Is it is it as good as everyone's saying? I thought it was uh, you being sorry. Oh, that's cool then. Yeah, it, look, it looks really nice. Eh? It looks like it literally is plug and play. And plus, you can do that little bit of tweaking, can't you? Did you um, have you ordered the stand for it? That three D printed one, where you can put it in vertical and you can put the controller in it. That looks a nice little bit, little extra you can buy for it. I think if I didn't have two frame masters, I I'd probably get one. 
That's cool. Right, okay. Yeah, I, I've heard a lot of the a lot of the YouTubers saying it's brilliant at 480i, but then Fudo, the guy that does all the scalar reviews, said that um, the, the Frame Meister is still king at uh, deinterlace in 480i. The scan lines are nice. They, they're all like nice and even and stuff as well. It sounds quite funny on this, actually. <laughs> The scan lines look like they're good on it. Then you, can you get like um, can you do different types of scan lines, like alternative scan lines and stuff? Oh, I came out today, did it? Yeah, it it looks like it does a good deinterlacing job. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is a small sprite. Definitely uh, a recommended purchase then. Sounding that way. Do you, right, okay. I suppose that's that's something he's probably gonna tweak in um in firmware then, is it I bet the scan lines. Because the frame has got really good scan lines. And they they are fully adjustable and mess aroundable, you know, so you can just mess around with lots of stuff on them. This game doesn't look great. Right, okay. Yeah, because there's there's a, there's two coming out, isn't there? There's a new OSSC, and there's another one coming out as well, I think. Yeah, it does more wacky super effect. But apart from those little issues, then it's it's you're pretty happy with your unit, then you. Okay. Yeah, I I know a guy that's into retro that just doesn't like tinkering, so I, I think something like that would be perfect for him. Just something you can just plug in and, you know, basically off he goes. Oh, you were looking at the cell there, you? Right, okay. So you're looking at selling the retro thank you, not the OSSC, because you said you had one of them, didn't you? If I remember rightly. Right, okay, I got you. Yeah, I thought that, fair enough. Yeah, that's supposed to be a little <laughs> when you buy the frame master first it's a bit like a little bit confusing, but then once once you learn to tinker with it and mess around with it, you can get some really nice results out of it. Right, okay, that's interesting. Well if say if you do want to get rid of it, you should be you should be able to get most of your money back now. Well you should you could probably get your money back completely, I would say. I wonder how this game plays. <laughs> Are you going? Oh, it's broad abundant as well. That's mad. Oh, you've got to push left. To get up. To get up. Okay. How do how the hell do I 
I don't know how to go up. How the hell do I go up? Okay, that's a bit weird. That's got terrible controls. Is that Wrecking Crew as in the Nintendo Wrecking Crew? Oh, then again, didn't I have I created before and I said that? Yeah, that's that's a shame. It's a bit disappointing. The first one I I've, I've viewed, I said I was gonna sell it. Uh, I think I may have tried this before. Yeah, it is Wrecking Crew. That's bad. How the hell did Wrecking Crew come on the uh, on the shop? Yeah, it's just interesting to know you were uh, going to get rid of it. Hmm. Uh, how do you exit a level on this? I can't remember. Oh. Um, I may have. Is it if it, if it's new? No. A couple of NES games got converted, didn't they, to uh, PC Engine? How do you complete this level? I can't remember how to do it. How to complete a level? Played this a few times on the NES, but can I go in there? No. How the hell do you complete a level? Why is he behind the level? How the hell do you complete the level? Can he hit me? No. Alright, we got hit him? I have no idea how to complete the level. Oh, okay. Very destructible as well. Ah, right, okay.
Looks like quite a few. Not not a huge amount though, to be honest. I do quite like the mess. It's got some pretty cool games. I probably have played if it came out a little while ago. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got a whole lot of like um, NES conversions. Screw now, aren't I? How do you get back up there? You can't, can you? Hmm, okay, it's going something else. It's like 81. Again, we're not almost through the, the list. He is a vandal now, and likes breaking things. There's some really good stuff on the mess. It's definitely worth uh, diving into and giving it, giving it a look. I can see why the nest was really popular. This obviously don't work. <sighs> Did we play this before? Clem, I do remember a background like this in a shmup before. Yeah, it's a shame. This game actually looks quite cool. That background's obviously messed up. Yeah, we played this before, me. That's alright, that game is actually. Oh, I'm saying that two's rubbish. East one and two, one and. Oh, sorry, one and two. Two and three. I'm sure I played the SD as well, let's give that a go. Oh, you got a retro on each of you. Ah, that's cool. Yeah, you, you should give it a go. Honestly, they, there's, you'd be surprised. There's there's a lot of really good games on the NES. Because, like I said, I never had one back in the day, and it's only, it's probably only the last, I know, maybe like 10 years that I I started playing NES games. And I I like some of the games so much. I ended up getting a um I got a I got an RGB modded um, top loading Famicom and a multi card. <laughs> I should play more NES games on here. Like there's some nice shoot maps on the NES and stuff, and there's some really good platform games on there. There's a lot of crap as well, mind. I can't skip any of this. I don't think. Yeah, it's definitely worth um, trying some stuff out. I used to have quite a lot of uh, Famicom cartridges as well, but um, I got rid of a lot of them. This is adventure game, man. I used to, I had a sharp twin, um, I had one of them as well, up to probably about, I think I got rid of it about two years ago, because I added in, it's quite, it's quite cool looking, the twins, uh, but I had to change the rubbers in the deep, in the um, joy pads because they were bad, but after having the RGB top loader, 
the, the twin looked terrible, and I kept. I, I was going to try and um, get a HDMI modded, but in the end, it's it's quite expensive to do. So I I thought, oh bollocks, and I didn't, and I ended up swapping it for a uh, PC Engine briefcase setup, and then I flogged the briefcase setup. But they, they are yeah, the the drive belts, but the one I had is in perfect nick as well. My mate's got it now. It was in nice nick, everything on it, and I had um, Wardner and what was the other game? I only had two disc system games. The only problem with the disc system as well, they take ages to load. But I had Wardner, Wardner and uh, Load Runner on the disc system. If if I'd ended up getting an RGB modded, ultimately that's what I wanted to do with it, and then keep that one. But you're talking like 150 quid to get it done, so in the end I, I didn't bother. But I kept the twin, the uh, the top loader. I had that brand new from Japan. I got brand new old stock. Yeah, it is. Well, I would have done my RGB uh, top loader myself, but you need, you do not want to attempt doing that unless you've got a desoldering station, a proper desoldering gun, because otherwise you're going to get in trouble doing it. So I didn't bother doing. It. I sent it off, and it cost me. I think it was something like 130 quid to get. The guy I sent it off, though, he said he would have done the twin for the same. But I never got around to doing it. So in the end, I just ended up getting rid of it. Because it was just big. They're quite a big machine as well. And I had just it hanging around, essentially. It was just sat on top of my PC. But ultimately, I'd say the, the HDMI mod would have been really nice to do for it. What is this then? It's got some nice uh, drawings and stuff on it. She got terrible fingers though. What the hell? Oh, it's a quick scheme. Interesting. Hoppers are out with the helicopter. They're quite nice, the twins, though. Okay, that was random. You do have to do a mod on the sound on them, though. There's a, uh, a there's a resistor, not, not a resistor, it's a capacitor you want to cut out because they they they've got like um, the sound is like really bassy on them, and it don't sound as good. If you, but if you cut the capacitor out, it sounds great. The only problem with this one, when you press a button to go off, it doesn't always work. Yeah, I, if I had a desoldering station, I would have done it myself. But if, you, if you're desoldering all those pins on the PPU and the CPU, and um, you haven't got a desoldering station, you, you're going to you're gonna have a nightmare getting, getting those chips out. Not only that, you, you do stand a good chance of breaking it, but... If you've got a desoldering station with a heat gun and a desoldering pump, you'd probably do it in five minutes. Yeah, I definitely know your limits on stuff like that. You, you know, your best if you think it's going to be a bit of a problem, don't do it. That's the one thing I haven't got. It's a desoldering station. I would like to have one. I probably could have taken it to work and done it. They got a uh, pretty tidy setup and work like I, which you don't use basically. I probably could have taken it to work and just done it myself. Are they? It's not worth. It's not worth we pay for that price, is it? Yeah, it's probably your best. At that 250 quid, I mean, just buy it by the second hand X. Series X, right? 
No, they never shoot my... Ooh. What was it playing up? Is it the hard drive playing up or something, or...? Again, for 250, you could probably get the S, couldn't you, if you don't mind buying your games on, you know, online, or if you've got lots of games on the store or something. It's a very Star Soldier, isn't it? So this is another caravan game. Yeah, hopefully they can fix a few. Yeah, if it's a hard drive, changing the hard drive in it can be a bit tricky, can't it? As far as I know. It can be done, though. Well, that's definitely taken from Soldier Blade. It's a lot for Microsoft to fix it though, isn't it? 250. That just it's they just don't want to fix it, do they, at that sort of price? It's not even worth sending it off for that price. Same as wrong with. Ah, oh, so the X is there, right? Okay. Sorry, I didn't read the X then. Yeah, it's not too bad if you can get it done for that. I've heard of the um, HDMI chips on them causing issues. Yeah, I've heard that. I've seen a couple of people changing the chips. To change that chip, you're going to need a hot air station as well. Hot air station, you could change it really easy. Yeah, hopefully you can get it done for you. Probably the chip to change that probably costs like a couple of quid. But then obviously you've got to do it, haven't you? Like I said, you need you you need a hot air station really. That's not bad. I don't have the helicopter after. We've been out there for ages. No, hopefully not. Yeah, I seen a, I seen one or two um, YouTube fair fixes basically changing the the HDMI chips. Like it didn't look too bad. Like to change it once you figure out what the problem is. Like as, as long as you got a hot air station. Like I said, unless you got one of them, it's not really worth doing it yourself. 
I'm pretty good at soldiering. Like I said, I got electronics qualifications and stuff, but you just you just need the equipment really to make it uh, possible for yourself. Like, <laughs> yeah, hopefully you can get it get it fixed for me. I don't like it when your console dies. It's just fucking pain in the ass, isn't it? Especially when uh, you ain't got the money to go buy a, just buy a replacement either. That makes it even worse. And it, things always seem to break when when you haven't got the money. It's pretty weird when that happens, isn't it? Right, I tell you what, I'm going to change game because I'm going to go for the last couple of games while we're at it. Ah, uh, they're doing quite regular. Oh, you're probably just fixing no problems then. If they're doing it regularly, then maybe maybe it is becoming a bit of a, an issue. Yeah, I, I see the heli I hear the helicopter run do it every now and then, but... Oh, it's the same game. Oh, I think we've played these before. It's an updated version of it. Yeah, I don't feel they just get it done for you and the job done to be fixed. I wonder how much of a problem that is then with the uh, HDMI chips. Not good if it is an issue, is it? So Microsoft was pretty much charging you with the price to buy a new X, the replacement. So they probably wouldn't even fix it. They probably just give you, charge you that price and give you a new one. Well, hopefully when they do fix it anyway, and if they've had that chip, then it's going to be, uh, it'll be sorted, you won't have that problem ever again. Thirty odd seconds. This is not bad either. Good little caravan game. Nine seconds. What do you reckon? Yeah, so it's always when your skin things break. It's freaking it's it's weird how that actually works. Your skin and everything dies. No, I don't. I'd like a J tag one myself, but um, no, I don't. I know, I know. There's a if you go on. Have you gone UK VAC? And it is. I don't know if you've heard this. It's an arcade forum, 
uh, for some of them it's called uk vac if you go on there there's there was i don't know if he's still doing it there was a guy selling fully modded ones on there for 200 and how much were they i think there was something like 260 or something uh but they came with all the cave games all the shooter maps all on a um on a refitted hard drive and everything on them that's the only person i know Yeah, it's a nightmare, man, when you can't afford it. It's just... <sighs> yeah, I know the feeling. It's not good. Wait, he peeps. Is That's probably the guy I'm talking about. Zounds. Helicopter's still hanging around. No, it's a bitch when you ain't got the money, man. It's, uh, I've been there loads of times. It's not good. Same with this eye thing. I can't really fuck the 40 eye thing. I've had a pretty... Uh, Sell shit and borrow money to barely pay for that. It's just gonna take me bus and ages to pay back. Mujin Yunage presents. So this is a, a game that doesn't work good. Let me try the old uh, press space trick. Nope. Ah. Zogra. Give us a go. Oh, another shmup. Ooh. Well, that's got some serious snapback going there. Actually, I think I played this before as well. to buy the game soon actually it's got pretty decent music It's been a long time since I played this. I forgot it was called this. It was a long time ago I played this, wasn't it?
I think this was one of the games I first played when I first started streaming. Yeah, a J tag machine with all the shmups and everything would be really good. Got a lot of room for the, the emulator on the PC, which does work pretty good. Once I guess updated really well, that'll be a really good way of playing it. I have to look into the J tag and see what you need to do to do it. I've still got my, uh, I've still got the free 360s. With the J tag, it's quite easy to do. Oh, power up. me away, that's weird. It's weird, that base was like pushing me away from it. Definitely making this my last game. Well, they're weird, these ones, they like, could get pushed.
that's the one that pushes you away again. with pirates. Yeah, they're weird those ones to push you away. the Xbox One didn't play a lot of the um, the shoot em ups, they didn't add them to the backwards compact. I thought I got before. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I still got the VCR. That's the one I hacked the other day. Put it on today, actually. I was messing around um sound on my uh, TV. The 32-inch TV is rubbish, like, and I used the sound bar on the 4K one. So I bought a cheap sound bar. It's not fantastic, but... It's better than the uh, speakers on the telly, so it'll do for 25 quid. I don't need to play retro games anyway, it's not fine playing like full modern games, but I was testing it on the Xbox One. It's not going to change your world to sound bar, but. These bases again a little bit more. Got oh, Battle Grieger arms. Oh, music change. Getting a bit more tricky now. power up so far. Oh, lost one. Uh, 
time we got tagged. It's weird the way it moves. It is, yeah. Got some pretty good fire in. Oh, I got tagged. Ah, oh, it does a good power ups as well. Ah. Uh. Yeah, boss. Was it boss cannon or boss canoe or whatever it's really called? It's probably more like that. It's like a super version of that game, really. Now we got laser turret. Yeah, and that weapon's gone. Those laser turrets are a bit uh, deadly, isn't they? Any more left? Ah. One above me in there. Ooh, the guess definitely getting bigger, isn't he? Bases, but yeah. Hold up. Look how big a fireman actually gets. Weird, man. 
Doom, doom, doom. I love a look of his head in chat now. It was a good five minutes. Those bases are getting big. That looks like the maximum firepower. Alright, oh, it's 180 quid to pay 1s. The hell? It's not even worth it, is it, that? It wouldn't even be worth you repairing it at that. Just go out and buy a new one. That's obviously what they want, isn't it? I think they always make these consoles really expensive to repair. They just do what Apple do. They charge you the price of the replacement. And they don't repair it. They literally just replace it. Oops. What did I level get? Level 15. <laughs> oh, you're off your beanie probably gone. Sorry. I missed you. Yeah, no worries, mate. If you're still here, cheers for joining. If not, I'll uh, catch you next week. Yeah, the JTAG would be really nice to have. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's the same what happened to me when I had the red lights on the, like, 5 or 6, 360s. Uh, they just refurb basically. They'll just give you a replacement, then they'll send that off to be refurbed in a factory in China somewhere, probably. And use it again. Yeah, and that's exactly what they're hoping they'll do. It's this upgrade. It's not a bad game, huh? Right then. Well, I know 80 quid is uh, a bit rough to get yours done, but hopefully you can get it fixed soon. <laughs> Well, it's out of it. If they if they do in those um, fixes quite often, they should they should get a fix pretty quick for you, hopefully. Yeah, that's not good if they exchange you a crappy condition one. That's even worse then. Especially if yours is in, you know, you keep your stuff in good condition, you get a shitty refurb. That's not good. And it's the point of complaining then about the shitty refurb, then sending it back for them to send you another one. That's even longer than you're waiting. Yeah. Most people in the end will just go, oh, okay, I'll just keep it. Um... Just for the time it takes for the buddy turnaround. I oh, traded in. It was that bad, sir. Mm, not good. Right, anyway, mate. That's me done for tonight. Uh, go to bed, I think. It's got to be done. Uh, that's the way. Well... Hopefully we get it done anyway, hope we get it done quick few and um if we have a decent week, mate. I'm just gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do all week actually, I'm gonna I'm just it. Might carry on playing through um thirteen sentinels 
on the uh, PlayStation. Yeah, it's nice to chat, as always. I'm starting again in tab. It's going to be a long one. And the majority of the time, you're not doing much but listening to the story. It's pretty good, though. Yep, so have a good week, mate, anyway. And um, I shall catch you next week. I might do a stream on Thursday again. Uh, I can get some paintings on it. I started watching your collection videos as well. I uh, started on the, the Neo Geo CD one. You've got a few more Neo Geo CD games than me. you got quite you got a lot of the similar stuff to what I've got as well. I, I haven't finished watching it yet. I shall do it on the week, I think. That's fair enough. Yeah, I, I, I probably got, I've probably got a lot more stuff compared to then. Actually, that's funny you were watching that one the other day. I probably got have a lot more stuff now compared to what I did before. I probably got, uh, have I got less machines. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'll watch with the other ones I will in the week. But yeah, 4 hours and 52 minutes I was on. It's not bad. Well, Andy having that clock in the corner. Oh, you commented on it, eh? Yeah, 2.15, right. God, that was a while ago as well, wasn't it? But yeah. Oh, right. All right, but I'm going to shoot anyway, and um, I shall talk to you, I'll talk to you uh, next week. All right? <laughs> it was uh, 2015, nice. That's the way, that's good remembering. Right, yeah. Catch you around. Ta-da. Night-night, take care.